and uh, here's a new car DVR solution and it's already mass produced, right? Yeah, this is another very exciting area that we're working on. So this is kind of the, the security lineup and this is specifically for, for cars. So this is a, uh, a two channel 1080p front and, and rear enabled car DVR. Front and so this rear. Is running on, yeah, so this is basically two channels. So you have this, this camera that you can put in the back and then you have the camera that's, that's connected to the front here. So it records two times uh, 1080p right. at 30, 30 frames, frames a second. second. Right, right, right. So it's also, if you come here back up a little bit, yeah. you can actually see this is a uh, this is a video that we captured that was running off of yeah. that device. So this shows a number of different ADAS algorithms, right? So you have a number of different warning system algorithms. You have the warning system that, that helps you kind of um, replay here. You have the yeah. warning system that helps you stay in the right lanes. You have the, uh, the front collision warning system that kind of shows you how, me how many meters ahead the car is in front of you. So these are algorithms that we built in the solution. This is also a license plate detection algorithm. That's totally awesome. And all this stuff you're doing in real time from this uh, all winner V3. And this is another product with a V3 inside. Yeah, so this is a uh, Sport DB. So it's running, you can run 1080p at 60 frames per second. Yeah. You can also do 720 at uh, 720p at 120 frames per second. All right. So this is a, a form factor for a Sport DVR. Uh, and this is an exciting uh, market for you, the the sports camera. Yeah, I mean, it's a good market for us to be able to get into because one of our most important competitive strengths is our video engine technology. So all the video engine, the encoder and decoder technology is all self-designed by All Winner. So we're able to pretty we're able to get ahead of the pack in, in designing products like this. How can you include all this stuff? This is a single core Cortex A7. You can you, all these algorithms work. You, you can, right. Just before you can actually self-drive the car with your CPU, you're right. not far. Because, because you have a, a Cortex A7, but it's running at a high frequency, so you can actually run all this stuff uh, in, in real time accurately. All right, and let's check some uh, some more that you have in this area. Yep. Because you say car DVR, you do IP, IP camera. Yeah. So in addition, what we also have here is these are some IP cameras that are running on the V3. These are Wi-Fi cameras that uh, customers are pairing up with smartphones to, uh, to kind of control remotely. Is this? Uh, the PCB? This is the PCBA for kind of another solution. So this is also this is also V3, but it's the V3S. Okay. So V3S is kind of the cost of down solution. Lower cost bomb, less components. All right. Cool. Yeah. Now it also has integrated DDR in here. So something like this is very it's very costed down for kind of the mid to low yeah. range. What's the main advantage of your solution right here? You are uh, offering great so value this is price. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Right. So 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, for customers, we also have a uh, basically have a smartphone APK that can be used. Supports talking back and forth. Yep. Oh, what does that mean? So it means back and forth through, through a smartphone application. You can talk into it, and the it, and the voice comes over IP to the uh, to the ah. camera. So there's a speaker here, and there's cool. also a microphone on this, so that that voice signal can be transferred back to the smartphone. What's going on over there? So this again, this is a cool uh, another home surveillance product that was designed by one of our customers, eight, based on the A31. So this is actually kind of a, uh, a you know, kind of a device that, that sits out in front of your house. And, kind of, and then you have different ways to unlock. You can do face recognition, it's basically, it's basically gesture. A, yeah, it's a smart home entry system. So you have a card, you have RFID here. You kind of go here and swipe. Okay. Unlike successful, you can go through gestures. To okay. Cool. So uh, this is totally mass produced, right? Many many customers shipping already the solution. Yeah. Yep, all all mass production right now.